All right, so today we have kind of a double whammy. And, and before I get into what the double whammy is, I'm wearing a Christmas hat because my hair is super messy right now, like super bad. And yeah, I I forgot to take a shower, okay? I just woke up and I was like, oh, I gotta record a video. Uh, and all this stuff is dropping in like three minutes. So we're wearing a Christmas hat. Actually, the real reason is I just, I'm very festive and very jolly. And my character in the game is wearing a Christmas hat right now, which he won't be my character in game for too much longer because again, double whammy we have two new things inside of the game that i want to be checking out the first thing is the infernal circle draw which you guys can see right here is going to be the firebreak character skin uh, i believe the weapon skin inside of this is going to be the d13 sector which if you guys saw my video about it i'm not really a big fan of it i think it's a really cool weapon but i don't think it has much functional use at its current state i think a small buff would be cool but at the same time i could totally understand if they just leave it the way that it is again i just don't think it'll be super super functional but firebreak character skin super sick and as you can tell inside of this we actually have a legendary character skin and a legendary um weapon i feel like is that normal when we get a legendary character skin do we always get a uh legendary weapon i feel like because we'll get a mythical character no we'll get a mythical weapon and then we'll get a epic character and then when we get a legendary character i guess we get a legendary skin right or is it an epic skin oh we got a legendary weapon skin as well okay i'm tripping never mind so yeah when we get a legendary character skin we get a, le a legendary weapon skin as well so the first thing we'll be doing is getting this entire lucky draw probably just speed through that pretty quickly and then after that what we'll be doing is playing on the brand new map which is icebreaker which i assume isn't in ranked so we'll probably have to go into pubs and play probably like icebreaker 24 7 i assume is the mode yeah icebreaker 24 7 so yeah this is the brand new map the modes that are within it are uh t team deathmatch domination hardpoint and kill confirmed so traditional ranked uh modes except for obviously kill confirmed but that's basically just tdm with some uh, a twist but yeah lots of unique things on this map that we're going to be checking out obviously when we start playing it really pumped to be playing this map because it's, it's it's a super sick map but before we do that we're gonna go ahead and get the lucky draw and before we do that i wanted to let you guys know that this video is sponsored by call of duty mobile so a massive shout out to cod mobile for sponsoring today's video that being said let's go ahead and pick up this lucky draw all right <clears throat> draw number one all right uh cargo truck brimstone i honestly probably will be speeding through this entire thing anyway so i don't have to commentate too much i didn't really look at the m13 i want to do that really quickly though um okay actually super sick i don't think it has custom geometry i think it just has the animated like fire in it so iron sides are going to be the same but yeah, pretty cool legendary, or uh, pretty cool epic. Oh my, yo, okay. <laughs> of course this happens with a D13, like my least favorite weapon in the game. We got this so early. How much CP did that cost? That was like a hundred, dude, I think I spent like 150 CP total, something like that. I could be doing incorrect math. I'll probably put the correct math on the screen. I spent that much CP to get a legendary skin and it's the D13. Damn. Okay, that's really lucky though. That's actually crazy because we still have one, two, three, four, five more items. And then obviously the uh, the le legendary fire break. But if I got that, that would have been insane as well. So yeah, wow. All right, let's keep going. Oh, more legendary features. Does that normally show? All right, here's his walk-in, obviously. He's got his wrist thing that shows how many kills you have. Um, oh, fire break. Oh, okay, hold on. He has a special purifier. So when you use a purifier with him, I guess it's this which yeah that's new i'm pretty sure uh he has a hunter killer drone skin i think it looks like a hunter killer is it not okay hold on let's just screw through scroll through these so he has the uh, kills count he has the kill count he has a special purifier he has a special drop stance before parachuting in battle royale so i guess that's that oh that's a plane for battle royale not a hunter killer i'm tripping i'm a multiplayer player and then after that special loot box in battle royale okay so yeah that's normal i guess the sp uh, special purifier should be like the only thing that we've never seen before i i believe i just woke up so if i'm wrong i blame that but anyway let's keep going m13 sick uh we might look at this in like a training lobby or something but i'm not sure if we'll get any gameplay actually we will get gameplay because our main weapon is a uh secondary so this video will probably be m13 gameplay because we'll use that as primary d13 as a secondary that's sick actually so we'll be able to check out everything uh, I got the calling or the uh, avatar, which is pretty sick actually. Got the Molotov, it's the theme obviously. Fire, fire. Calling card, actually really like that. Sick. Probably after this we're gonna get the emote, and I'll actually check it out because I haven't looked at it yet. I wish I could see the floor. Is he doing something to the floor? Is it like burning? I would assume so. That's actually really cool. I'm definitely gonna use that in the game because this is like one of the first times you can't see the full emote. I would assume. So. We'll check that out inside of a game or training lobby. And then finally, obviously 5,500 CP, we're gonna go ahead and get the firebreak skin. If you guys are wondering how much I spent on the entire lucky draw, I'll put it on the screen right now. And keep in mind, obviously it could be different depending on where you live and uh, what version of the game you're on, all that. So with that being said, we have the entire lucky draw. We also got the, oh, okay. So we got a purifier. So it's not when you have the purifier and the skin, 
it's actually giving you a separate purifier that you have to equip so you don't actually have to have that skin to use the purifier i would assume because it should just pop up in here as a skin so if i do purifier camo we'll have the basilisk so oh oh i lied you have to have you have to have him on to use this okay so it's not like the uh the purifier water one which i actually don't even have but there's the h2o purifier and you can just equip that anytime this one you actually have to have the character skin so yeah that's, that's definitely new so we'll go ahead and equip fire break we'll have obviously fire lake basilisk on and then the purifier updated automatically which is sick wait can i use a different one okay i can so i'm not locked to the purifier i was curious about that so we got him on uh obviously for our weapon we're going to be doing the m13 in terms of the skin we're going to do the brimstone and then in terms of the build i haven't used this in a little bit so i gotta remember but i think i typically do the silencer barrel check my morning star okay combat large extended granulated owc makes sense okay one thing to keep in mind is that obviously the iron sights are just the normal iron sights on this so i probably should put a red dot on but we'll try it without the red dot just because i haven't actually used the base iron sights of this gun in a while just because i've had the mythical basically since the gun came out so yeah we'll go ahead and rock that as our primary our secondary is going to be the d13 sector and it's going to be the steam shredder which obviously with this weapon you can't equip anything so we're just going to be using it as is so i think that's all good i think we got everything set up and now we're going to go ahead and go into the uh whatever it's called icebreaker 24 7. we're going to go ahead and hop into that and get some gameplay probably going to do a couple games this is going to be a pub so it's not going to be crazy competitive i think the oh, oh emote emote oh i missed the emote okay i gotta remember after this game all equip and we'll be able to check it out but we'll just uh we'll use this game to check out the icebreaker map as well as the character and weapon skins all right so first off here's the m13 you can see the character skin has the uh obviously the kill counter on its arm as all legendary character skins do here he is right there inside of the pre-game lobby and then the d13 sector looks like this uh go ahead and do a weapon inspect on it real quick okay it's gonna reset hold on let's check this out i want to see if it does anything super unique no just a normal inspect okay so there's that weapon skin uh do a quick emote so you can see the character skin and boom i think we're good now let's go ahead and check out the ice break map so i've played this map i think once or twice i forgot if it was black ops 3 or black ops 4 or advanced warfare i forget it's one of the the jetpack cards that's all i remember so i haven't played it in a very long time and the last time i played it was like one or two times tops so not really sure on the map format but as you can tell right there there is a guy swimming which is what i hopefully can do or want to do but got killed right there so we're gonna have to try to get over here again the worst thing about learning a map is that you're gonna get shot from the side a lot just because your your positioning is always not as good as it could be just because you don't really know where people are coming from so you're gonna get shot in the back or the side a lot so gotta be reacting super quick anyway here if we go into like the center of the submarine as you can tell we can swim we can dip down we can't we can we can hit fire down here oh that is sick okay, so this is like a little cubby um and then i can hop up oh, i can't there's a guy swimming across he bodied me okay he had a top 25 what i want to see on this map is competitive i'd be really curious to see how competitive um is on this map i don't want to say performs but how people perform on this map competitively that should connect nice now we just gotta try to hit fire this bot <laughs> okay we got him lobbed out a nade looks like you can get up there somehow i'm not really sure how what i want to try to do is come in here and then okay i can walk right here nice got him Okay, so there's a certain point where you can stand. And then most of the time, you're going to have to be swimming. Like, that guy was swimming. I'm curious to see what happens to an RC. Will it just ride the ground? Okay, it's going to go this way. I don't know if I'll be able to get that test because the circumstances have to be, like, perfect. But still, kind of curious how that would work. We got a couple people over here. Got him. Oh, that guy bodied me, bro. With an AK? I'm that terrible. All right, let's try to get some D13 kills here just because this is legendary. Oh, dude, the gun reloads and I can't see the kill effect. That's unfortunate. I have to like shoot and then switch back. The timing has to be nuts. Oh, we got the purifier. Okay, I'm going to try to get in their faces. Okay, I probably shouldn't have peeked that, but it was fine. We just had the ego child there. Okay, hit firing inside of the water might actually... Wait, hold on. Did it put it away? Oh, you can't even use that gun underwater. That's interesting. Is that a BR mechanic? Can you not use it in BR? Because BR is where the swimming mechanic was first introduced. What if this is in private um private lobbies i would assume this map is if so i want to see scrims on it that'd actually be really fun to watch especially when people start learning the maps and or the map in like all the different positions all right there we go we lost one kill away i wasn't even paying attention i forgot it was tdm we ended up losing by one kill my fault 100 percent because i was playing like dookie but now let's go ahead and equip that emote and get another game all right also i wanted to check out br real quick so 
here is what he looks like in just you know the br lobby or whatever and then we're gonna check the plane and then also the kill box Oh, I wasn't paying attention. Okay, I, I was looking at something. I, I'm not used to looking at that screen. Um, you guys saw what it looked like. It was cool, right? <laughs> I have no idea. There we go. There we go. Yeah, okay. So this is the box. That's what it looks like. Bada bing, bada boom. And now I think we'll just go ahead and FHA ourselves. I'll back into multiplayer real quick. You can see the hand too and I ADS. Boom and oh, okay so it's, a, it's both got it all right also before we get into another multiplayer match i wanted to show that this map is inside of private games and i really quickly want to look at the d13's kill effect just because i can't really see it in the main game just because it it's really hard to see so we're gonna try it out in the private lobby against my phone oh, i never even saw this part of the map there is a ladder but you can't climb it oh you can vault it, got it. by the way the d13 can't be used underwater if i press it it just says no and another thing about the D13, and I just realized I actually put my button here so I could do it. I can hit fire with the D13 with my other sh uh, shoot button. So let me show you. So in my D13 video, I said I couldn't hit fire, and that's because this button you can't hit fire the D13, but this button you can. And I always have this one hidden most of the time, but I unhit it for sake of showing you guys. So if I go ahead and put the opacity back down, if I use my big shoot button, I have to ADS to shoot, but this one can hit fire. But just so you guys know how that works. Here's the back of the map too. I haven't seen this yet. This is a really cool looking map, I have to say. Probably one of the most visually stunning maps we have. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and see the kill effect. We'll shoot him with the D13 and then switch to the M13. Or let's just hit fire. All right, so that is the death effect, if anyone was curious. And there she blows, there she goes. I'm just gonna keep going. Does that ever stop? Okay, it stopped at some point. I think I had to like hit this guy. All right, so there we go. Now let's go ahead and hop back into a multiplayer game. Also, sorry about my voice. I, I'm getting a little bit sick. I don't know what it is yet. I don't know what the sickness is, but getting a little sick right now. All right, first thing I want to do in the four seconds that I have, ring of fire emote. It's probably going to expire before you can really see it. Obviously, in real life, it would be melting the ice, but that'd be a little bit hard to implement into the game. So, <laughs> and a little little bit of a cheat. But here, here we go. At the emote, doing the fire. As you can tell, the ground's not changing. So now it kind of has fire on it, and then it goes up. Cool. So it was, it was exactly what we saw earlier. It just, I was wondering if maybe the environment would get like darker, which again, would be a pretty crazy thing for the game to implement. Maybe not crazy, but pretty surprising. Okay, yeah, there's one. There's just a bot though. We gonna come through here. And more bots. <laughs> this lobby is way less sweaty than my last one. We'll say that much. All right, let's try to play around the point actually. Wait, I'm swimming. Oh, you can ADS? Oh, you can ADS underwater. I just assumed you could only hit fire. Oh my, I, okay, all right, all right. I'm actually so dumb. I didn't even try. I just assumed, so I never assumed. And it seems like you don't have breathing bubbles, so you can stay underwater indefinitely, unlike in BR where you actually have breathing bubbles. So that's something to keep in mind. That guy was running. Can you run on here? No, I'm only swimming. I don't know. Maybe he just was at that threshold where you can... Um, okay, I killed myself? Oh, maybe you can suffocate. Okay, I have no idea what happened right there, but it said I killed myself. Seems kind of weird. But anyway, let's go UAV, RC car. I want to experiment with this more, actually, the water. I'm curious what just killed me. Because they said it was myself. I don't see water bubbles anywhere. That would imply I'm choking. Here, let's go ahead and just chill here for a sec. See if I die. Do you insta die? Well, I got low and then it killed myself. I was wondering if like bullets ricocheted or maybe the guy got me low and the last bit of damage was like, I don't know what killed me. I haven't suffocated yet. Sorry if you guys can barely see. I killed myself again. What is this? I don't know. Does shooting underwater too much kill you? I don't, I don't know what that mechanic is. I'm confused. Two people behind me. Nice. What the purifier should we got right here? There's that. I see cars hitting someone. I'm not sure where. We got my left, yeah. This is such a bot lobby. <laughs> I like no ammo on this left. Uh, that should be a double, yeah. Nice. Or no, my teammates got it. I just got the assist. Dude, I'm really curious what that was. Nice, got him. I don't have that range. <laughs> I should burn him. Nice. I'm not even sure if there's a real guy in this lobby. Okay. Um, I got bodied by two bots. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't matter if there's real people the bots will, will kill you regardless really wish i could see it in ranked it might be in ranked honestly can you check the ranked map pool you might be able to after this game i'll try to try to check it 
They didn't mention it coming in ranked, I don't think. I'll have to go reread the Twitter. That's the real guy right there. Bots don't snipe. I think the real guy hasn't even killed me once. I've gotten killed only by bots. <laughs> Snowmobile over here, which would be sick if you could use, but 99% sure you can't. Yeah. Maybe one day we'll get vehicles. <laughs> I don't know if there's ever been a, um, a whatever, a COD with a, whatever it's called, vehicles. Be wrong though. Got him. This guy's rotating around. Nice. Starting to get used to the map a little bit more. Kind of nice to play it against bots right now because then I can focus more on just the map and everything. I guess I'm not really learning where they could sneak up behind me as much, but still getting a better awareness of the map and everything. And if Etal is out, so I think I probably should just end the game because this is this is not going to end in any more kills for me. Except maybe that one. Probably my my last. Oh, no, never mind. I guess inside the submarine, I might be able to get some kills. Also, I think my gun stopped shooting right there when I started swimming, so might want to keep that in mind. It's going to end any second now. I'm trying to watch wherever these guys will hop in. Nice. That guy was swimming mad fast, it felt like. Oh, contested. Nice. Oh, I'm really, I mean, we're about to win. I was pretty close to the nuke, but again, it's it's a bot nuke, so not feeling too much pride about it. Oh, maybe? Oh, I kind of hope the bots kill my teammates. No, we're going to win. <laughs> All right, better game, but obviously that's expected. So now I'm going to go ahead and check if it's in ranked real quick. All right, so if I go to ranked and then I go to rent maps, we can see for domination, we have these maps and none of them is the icebreaker. TDM. It's cool if they just added it in TDM. No, not in TDM. Hard point, not in hard point, and I would assume not in SD because it doesn't even have an SD mode in uh, pubs. So, yeah, not in ranked, unfortunately. Maybe, I don't know if it's not unfortunately, to be honest, but it'd be cool if we had it for a little while. But yeah, I'm gonna call it there just because, again, this is pubs. We're probably gonna be playing bots. I don't wanna do that the entire game. If it was in ranked, I'd probably play a lot more, try to get a really good game. But at this point, you guys have seen the entire map. Uh, you've seen the weapons, so I think this is probably a good point to hop off. And also, I'm about to go see my family. So, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to drop a like and a sub down below. Make sure to check out Cod Bubble with a link down below in the description. And I will see you guys later. Peace.